Hi viewers, welcome to the NISK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create industrial angle railing syntax cross structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your tech cross structures with the US environment. Now we're going to create beam. So click on T and select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this. Let's click on machine interrupt. Now we're going to create industrial railings. So click on this application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here. In search word type number 86, you will get this component number 86 industrial angle component. Select this component and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and pick the part as a beam and press the scroll wheel button to create the railing like this. Now close this window, right click on mouse interrupt. Click on space, right click on mass, rerouble. By default, we have industrial angle railings like this. Now we're going to edit this angle profiles as we require. So right click on mass, interrupt. Now, now we're going to check the angle profile, this one by default. So click on this option, select object in component and select this angle. Then right click on mouse, enquire and click on part. Now we have the profile is L 200 of 200 of by 3 by 16. Now click on OK. Now we're going to change this profile. So select this option, select component and double click on this angle. Now go to parts tab. You can see now this option for vertical post. By default we have the component number 1000076. Now we're going to, you need to note it down this number 76. So close this window. Click on this application components and here type number 76. Now you'll get this S76 number component. So double click on this component, go to parts tab, click on here and select industrial angle, then click on load. You can see by default we have the here profile is L 200 of 200 of by 3 by 16. Now we're going to change this profile. So click on here, let's take L 3 by 3 by 3 by 16 so select this profile then click on apply ok now we're going to copy this one so select ctrl c use the shortcut ctrl c for copy and ctrl v for paste now click on modify now click on save as then click on modify apply ok double click on this component once again click on here and select this option industrial angle and click on load and click on parts tab to make sure the profile should be l3 by 3 by 3 by 16 as we require then click on modify apply ok now close this window right click on mouse interrupt now double click on this component click on parts tab and click on here in search bar type number 76 now double click on this S76 component, then click on modify to see the result. Modify apply OK. Click on space, right click on mouse, rerouble. Now, now we're going to check the angle profile. It should be L3 by 3 by 3 by 16. So click on this option, select object in component. Now select this angle, then right click on mouse, enquire, and click on parts tab. You can see now we have the profile size should be L 3 by 3 by 3 by 16 okay if you want to check the top level and bottom level then scroll it down you can see now here the top level is the 3 feet 1 inch 1 by 4 and bottom level is minus 7 inch like that you can check the top level and bottom level of the object then click on ok similarly we are going to change this profile also so select this angle right click on mouse enquire and parts tab by default, we have the angle profile. This one is L 200 of 200 of by 3 by 16. Now we're going to change this profile. So click on OK, click on space, and select this option, select components. Then click on here, and we need to double click on this option first, angle, then code parts. You can see now we have the railings component number. 100077. We need we need to note it down this number 77. So close this window. 
now go to application of components and in search bar type number 77 now double click on this component as 77 now click on this window and you use this screen controller to move this component window downside so click on here now go to parameters tab and click on here and select industrial angle then click on load now go to railings you can see by default we have the size l 200 by 3 by 16 now we're going to change this profile so click on here click on here and l 3 by 3 by 3 by 16 then click on apply ok then click on modify similarly go to middle row in, we need to change this profile also click on here and select l 3 by 3 by 3 by 16 then click on apply ok then click on modify and we need to save this save as click on save as and then click on load and go to the top and then click on modify apply ok if you don't have this screen controller option you can download and install this screen controller from tecla warehouse how to download and install i have a separate tutorial about it in our channel please go to my channel and watch it now close this window now double click on this component go to parts tab and click on here and in the search bar type number 77 and double click on this component as 77 then click on modify to see the result modify apply ok click on space right click on master review now select this option select object in component now select this railing then right click on mouse enquire and click on part tab you can see now we have the profile size l 3 by 3 by 3 by 16 similar like that you can change as you require the profile size then click on ok now coming to this notch cut at here so right click on center click on space right click on master review now double click on space now go to display and you need tick mark here under the component symbol then click on modify apply ok click on modify apply ok you can see now have the symbol component symbol this one so double click on this symbol you will get here you can see the angle and clearance we have 1 by 8 if you want to increase you can increase from here for example we're going to take 3 by 16 then click on modify to see the result you can see now how the clearance should be 3 by 16 modify apply ok similarly you can change remaining cuts also for example if you want to apply the same clearance at here so double click on this component then hold the control button and select remaining components then click on modify to see the result modify apply ok you can see now have all clearance should be 3 by 16 as we require similarly we can change this angle profiles and uh, bolt sizes everything so double click on this component symbol for example now we're going to increase the projection here by default we have 1 by 4 for example we're going to take off inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now the this projection should be half inch now go to parts tab in parts you can change this angle and uh, angle profile from here click on here you can select any standard profile from this option okay for example we're going to take this one then click on apply okay click on modify to see the result you can see now the angle size is reduced now go to bolt step in bolts you can change the bolt size for example click on here and say, let's take half inch bolt size then click on modify to see the result you can see now bolt size should be half inch you can change the clearance of the bolt 1 by 16 now coming to the bottom here in the vertical direction to indicate the number of rows in this horizontally for example we're going to take 3 then the spacing we're going to take to inch then click on modify you can see now have the three bolts and the distance between the two bolts should be two inch now coming to the edge distance we're going to take here one point one out of inch 
then click on modify to see the result you can see now the board's edge distance should be one and a half inch at here okay let's take two boards with the spacing three inch then click on modify to see the result like this now from top of beam to first ball distance you can control from here for example we're going to take four inch from top of beam to first ball distance then click on modify to see the result you can see now from top of beam to first ball distance should be four inch according to from this option uh, now coming to this side from angle edge to first ball distance by default we have the two inch for example we're going to take 2.5 inch then click on modify you can see now we have the 2.5 inch from angle edge to first ball distance but we require only two inch so click on modify like this now you can increase the number of bolts from this side in width wise for example if you record two bolts and the spacing is the 1.5 and let's take uh, one inch edge distance click on modify you can see now we have two columns in width wise and you can see two indicates the number of columns in width wise and one half inch is the spacing between the two bolts and one inch indicates the angle edge to first bolt distance okay that's that's it click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse you can see like this okay but we record only two bolts not four bolts so double con it go to bolts and let's take one number of column and remove the spacing and spacing is two inch from edge angle then click on modify apply ok if you want to apply the same changes to the remaining components double double click on this component now keep it side and hold the control button and select remaining component symbols then click on modify to see the result you can see now this property is applied to the remaining components then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on screen if you want to change this plate profile activate this option select component and double click on this plate go to parts you can see kick plate now component number is 75 so close this window and go to application components and here in search bar type number 75 and double click on this component Now click on here and select this industrial and click on load. Now go to parameters. You can see by default we have the plate size is width is 4 inch. For example, we're going to take 3 inch. So click on here. Let's say 3 inch. Then click on apply OK. Then click on modify. And you need to click on save here. Then click on load. Now click on modify apply ok now we're going to update this uh, component into this component so close this window right click on interrupt now you need to activate this component select component then double click on this plate now go to parts and here click on here and let's take number 75 component now double click on it then click on modify to see the result apply ok right click on interrupt now click on this option select object then select this plate right click on mouse enquire and click on part you can see now we have the plate profile is 1 by 4 inch uh, by 3 inch width okay okay that's it right click on mouse interrupt and select this option select components then click on space right click on mouse redraw double click on this background then go to display and remove this tick mark then click on modify apply ok click on modify apply ok click on space right mouse okay you can see like this okay that's it about how to create industrial angle tiles in tech law structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech law structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech structure related videos i hope this video might be helpful to you
and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you